Ladies and gentlemen of the AFM, this is the White House in Washington calling. I present the President of the United States. I appreciate this opportunity to extend my greetings and best wishes to the Convention of the Alaska Federation of Navies. I want you to be among the first to know that I have just signed the Alaska Native Claim Settlement Act. This is a milestone in Alaska's history. When I was six years old, the Settlement Act happened, and so I was fairly young, but I do remember one of our leaders, who was one of the founders of Chugash Alaska Corporation, John Brodkin, coming to our house and explaining to my mother about the Settlement Act and that she had options or choices to sign up with Chugash as an at-large shareholder or Chugash and Tetitlik as a village corporation. You know, there was this incredible moment in time where these companies were created. And these companies were created as part of a grand settlement or some sort of grand bargain that only happened because of some very specific events. And it very easily could have not happened. Everybody had to come together to make this happen. And Chugash was part of that group. They had to start from ground zero. It's just amazing to think about that time when the first board member sat around the table. Here you have people that are living in subsistence lifestyle in remote parts of Alaska all their lives and all of a sudden, now, now you gotta learn how to do corporate things. Understanding where we've come from is critically important to where we're going. The culture and the past and the history and the traditions that brought us to where we are today are the foundation of the future. Spirit Camp started, I believe, in 1995. And these young kids, when they come out, once they hear the history and see the beauty of that land out there, they come alive. a history of where we came from, where the, my family came from. We've been doing it for 20 years now, and just by seeing the, the transfer of knowledge from the elders to the young people, and then see the interest of people to uh, participate, that's, that's rewarding. We speak to, to them directly. This is for you. We're doing it for you. Protecting that information and passing it on is the reason why we're telling this story. We're taking a breath and now and we're saying, okay, we have a strong, solid company. Are we doing everything we can to protect that and to sustain it? Are we looking at all of our assets and looking at how we can benefit the shareholders for the long term? The board has adopted a 100-year plan it's a, it's a way for us to describe and to focus on goals that benefit all the shareholders, whether you live in Texas or if you live in Nenwalik here in Alaska. 100-year projection is prosperity for our people. We want to make sure that we're making enough to be able to sustain the dividends, but also to the employment and the educational opportunities that we provide our people. Balancing the environmental conservation with the economic development is a very important role that we play because our people depend on the land. We have to be in tune to their needs and their ability to continue the lifestyle that they have enjoyed for thousands of years. Because that is what this organization is for. We are here to perpetuate the Chugash people and our culture forever. We hope that our people will take advantage of these opportunities and give back. Give back in the form of participation, interest, and really guiding the corporation to the next level of success.
it takes a lot of hard work to build a company that can be like Chugash Alaska Corporation currently is. The most empowering thing that we can pass on is that we have the ability to create our future. We don't have to have things just happen to us. That's been our story in the past. Things have happened. We've overcome them. But if we plan, if we plant the seed of success and prosperity, those things will fulfill themselves. We, we sit back here 40 years after the act was passed and after these companies were created, but I think they'd be pleased. And, and I want to look back 40 years from now and say that we are that constant reminder of our people and where we came from. I just hope this uh, recording would be uh, understood by the younger generation, even by some of our elders, and uh, maybe it would help them understand how we fought so hard. Thank you. <laughs>